everyone, Jill Lance here, and today we're in Charleston. It's Charleston, South Carolina, guys, outside Vladia. Vladia, which is an awesome Greek food truck, and they have this like really cool whole patio and area here as well. So it's really, really well established. Here are do, doing a giant Euro challenge. Yes, that's right. So we have a giant Euro. They do 100% lamb Euro, which is awesome. Um, they actually don't do it on a spit. They make them like patties, so they're cooked to order, always fresh, which is awesome. Uh, in addition to the giant Euro, which I believe has uh, three or four pounds of meat, uh, plus the great big pita itself, topped with French fries, onions, tomatoes, a tzatziki sauce, which they also make here. We then also have some chicken Slovaki. In order of chicken Slovaki, we have uh, an order or two of falafels and a thing of hummus. So it's like a really, uh, I guess, well balanced, I guess you say, uh, Greek food challenge, Greek food challenge. But that we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete the meal. Uh, should be really good. I'm definitely looking forward to it. This is definitely a very, very unique challenge. I love kind of different cuisines. You guys like different cuisines. This is Greek and uh, I like it. So everything here is made from scratch. It smells good. Looks good. So uh, let's have some fun with the food. Let's get going. Right, everyone, so here we are with the gyro. Looks very, very delicious. And then the falafels, the slovaki, and the hummus. Um, so yeah, lots of food. We do have, again, 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Get the meal for free. Um, I also have an extra tzatziki sauce here. Lots of it. Uh, they do make that here. So again, everything is house made from scratch. Looks awesome. Um, but that's about that, guys. You know, they do put a french fries on it, which is really interesting. They also have this like seasoning, uh, this red seasoning, which they put on, which I love. I love flavors, so I think it's going to be very, very enjoyable. So with that, let's get started here, just momentarily. All right, guys, how do we get started? Let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it all. Mm. Juicy. I have a tzatziki for the uh, slovaki as well. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's dill, it's very, very fresh. I like that a lot. And here's this lamb. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Platia. Yes, Platia in Charleston, South Carolina, the beautiful city of Charleston, the city of angels, I believe they call it. Something along that, holy city, there you go. So here we are doing an awesome Greek food challenge. Yes, guys, a big gyro and all kind of other great items. So I do a lamb patty here for the gyro. Thank you. So it's made to order. Very fresh. So as we said, we had 30 minutes to eat this giant gyro, which was loaded with tomatoes, onions, french fries, of course, delicious, delicious tzatziki sauce. Um, and like I said, those uh, lamb patties, the meat was absolutely fantastic. This pizza is gonna take some work. Normally I'm used to seeing a gyro or a gyro again, like on a spit, you know, and then obviously they shave the meat off and you know, it looks obviously different than a patty, but really it makes perfect sense. And it's so much more uh, like, it, it's a much better idea to have it like this, being that it's always cooked fresh. As the meat sits on the spit, you know, it just kind of dries out, you know what I mean? Throughout the day, this you're getting it actually made fresh to order. So you're getting super soft, succulent lamb, um, you know, every time you order, which was awesome. Again, obviously cooked to order, Order. So that was great. I really liked the idea and uh, I think it's kind of revolutionary. I like that a lot. So that is awesome. It's, it's the smartest lamb. Besides that, we had the chicken slovaki, we also had the falafels, and then the hummus, as we said. So I think a really, really nice spread. I guess you could almost say we basically had like appetizers and the main, you know, the main course. I guess we were just missing dessert. Um, well, I don't know, hummus is not a bad dessert. I like hummus. Would you eat hummus for dessert? Comment down below right now. I think I would, but anyway, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, pretty much besides that, I think it was pretty straightforward. Again, they also, um, although it is a food truck, Platy has this awesome, like, permanent set patio. So you can hang out on this beautiful green, little, you know, little green turf space, you know, enjoy the sunshine. French fries. I am getting all the flavors. I'm just mixing them in my mouth. How are we doing for time now? Three minutes, 
Thank you. And ultimately enjoy some really great food here. So uh, but besides that, I think again, pretty straightforward. Um, again, I think the actual, uh, there was three pounds of lamb or meat on the gyro, um, plus again, the fries, everything on it. I had also a big container of tzatziki sauce there on the side because it was so delicious. They literally made everything that went into it and it was made with a yogurt base, which is definitely the way to go. Again, some people kind of make it a more like uh, sour cream-ish base, but this was definitely the way to go. It was so fresh, it was delicious you had dill you had kind of the lovely uh, acidity from that creamy yogurt so about like four minutes in very very good i'm definitely enjoying it it's a great tasting lamb really nicely seasoned with all the flavors like i said the spice they put on see with the french fries the onions and the tzatziki a very good pairing and I really do think I could probably eat that stuff with a spoon. So if you're in the area, I would like definitely come on by, buy, like grab a container of that tzatziki sauce from them, buy a container, take it home. Um, after you grab it yourself a gyro there or falafels or hummus or you know whatever it may be um, uh, so obviously at that I'm gonna let you get to the rest of the video um, again I think it's kind of pretty straightforward it's a pretty straightforward challenge but like I said super super delicious would definitely recommend stopping on by um, I'll speak a little bit quickly to Charleston um, if you've never been to Charleston Charleston is an awesome awesome city it is a lot uh, it's very well known for history it's very well known for its food and I do think I think it is just visibly a very gorgeous city. You have some really big famous beaches nearby, such as like Folly Beach. Um, you have the Isle of the Palms. You have, you know, the historic downtown, which Charleston itself, uh, in a lot of the kind of downtown old area, almost looks like a New Orleans. It's like a more like European kind of style of buildings. Um, super, super, super unique. Um, and then just like a lot of history there in general. So if you like history, you like food, you like travel, you knew, uh, Charleston is definitely a place to come by. It's very impressive, actually. Like I said, flavors are really good. Pizza takes a little time to get through, but I have no complaints. I will enjoy and savor that forcibly. About six nine minutes in, guys. Making our way slowly but surely. But thoroughly enjoyable. Like I said, the flavors, this tzatziki sauce, that dill in there, that just like freshness. Alright everyone, if you made it to this point in the video, first off, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you making it to this point and not skipping through the video. Let's play one of our jokes on the skippers. It's been a very long time since we have done this. Basically, you're going to comment something down below, and anybody who was just skipping through the video and read the comments would have to come back and watch for it, ultimately. Like I said, you rock. So how about we comment something along the lines of, and have some fun with it, wow, Joel, I can't believe you got attacked by a cat. 
or that was an attack kitty or a killer kitty. Like I said, have some fun with it. I really appreciate you guys partaking. I love to read your comments down below. They're absolutely hilarious. And uh, like I said, the best part of it too, if you comment something good, people are gonna upvote it and uh, share the love, share some fun, and comment down below. Fun fact, they even make the yogurt and the tzatziki sauce. I understand. They make everything. Definitely getting saucy, but I think I can drink this stuff. Very good. I mean, this is made with yogurt. I guess you can eat it with a spoon, maybe. Would that be half accepted? That's my question. Half accepted? I think 100%. Okay, cool. I'll take that. As long as you use the I like it. So we got chickpeas, cilantro, parsley, and we got tahini dip. Ooh. It's actually very good. Is it green? Very green. Very good. I don't need the I don't even need the sauce. Last but not least, hummus. So I know sometimes this is like an appetizer, but we're having this like a aftertizer. That's a good one, right? Very flavorful. A little bit of olive oil. Lots of seasoning. Maybe about like twelve ish minutes in. Good portion of hummus too.
We are leaving no doubt today. Because it is very good. I think it's acceptable to lick the ball. And we are done. Ooh. Thirteen thirty one. Thank you. So finish up there about thirteen thirty one, guys. All I can say is just like it's good. It's fresh. The lamb was really, really nicely seasoned. Really like a nice tasting lamb. Excuse me. Comments to the chef. The Slovaki was very, very fresh. Excuse me. Woo! The falafels. Love the falafels. Like I said, I barely even used the sauce. They're just like every bite was just a nice crispy crunch. You get that also served on a wrap here. Like I got them, you get them just by themselves or like on a pita. This hummus. Damn good. Damn, damn good. So that everyone, that's about that. Um, so that'll give me a purge pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, really enjoyed it here. Really great people, really nice staff. So if you're ever in the area, please feel free to stop on by. They are open seven days a week, open late on the weekends. Um, but yeah, Greek food. And like such a really unique spot. And that's kind of why, you know, I really wanted to come here. Not only, you know, unique location here, of course, in the beautiful Charleston, South Carolina, guys, but great, great, great food. Really like authentic flavors. Get everything is being scratch made and homemade. And that's about it. So that everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy, eating. And with that, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Comment, subscribe, appreciate that. Until next time, I'll get you some magic show here momentarily. Happy eating. Carter is here with Gogo Quirma, a magician, uh, most notably famous on TikTok. So, pretty cool that we get the opportunity to meet him here and he's gonna show us some magic tricks. So, let's rock and roll. All right, my friend, what do we got today? All right, so I'm gonna show you, this is a regular deck of cards. They're all different cards. Looks, looks right. So what is your favorite card? Let's we'll start very simple. My favorite card, let's say the Ace of Spades. Let's just be that st stereotypical. The stereotypical Ace of Spades. That's right. That's, that's totally cool. So I want you to focus on the Ace of Spades and you're gonna take out one card. Okay. Any one at all. All right. Do you want me to like look at it? Uh, not yet, you're gonna put it on the table. Okay. I wanna clarify that these are all different cards. Correct. And you named one card. Correct. And you chose one card. <laughs> I have to give it. We'll leave that there. And like I said, that this, was uh, that worked. And as you see, there's no other ace of spades here. But since we have the ace out, we might as well go full throttle on it. Take another one out. Okay. It doesn't matter which one. <laughs> okay. Cool. So watch. We'll take say three of clubs. Okay. We'll give it a shake just like that. And there goes the second ace. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but. I did, I pulled the three clubs and he shook it. And here we got another ace. So okay. Watch. Now we're just gonna give a triple cut. One, two, and there's the other ace. That's pretty impressive. And the last one we'll do it a little slower. We'll take say a queen of clubs, right? We'll give it a spin from left to right. Okay. <laughs> Damn! Did you guys see that? <laughs> that's my question. So that's the easy way of doing it. Okay. All right, here's the hard way of doing it. We'll take all those four aces, we'll place it back in the deck, all right, we'll give it a quick little shuffle. All right, and then we'll stop one random card. Do you think that's an ace? That would be cool, right? But I don't want cool, I want impressive. So watch the eight of clubs, and now they're all aces. But actually, I'm going to do a trick for you, if you don't mind, uh, in inspiration of what you just did. Okay. All right, so we're going to let you choose any card out, and you're going to write your name on it so you know 100% that's your card. All right, so pick a card, write my name on it, correct? Yeah. All right, front or back? Uh, the front of it. All right. King of clubs, I guess. There you go, guys. We've got our name on it. Cool. So, first step, we're going to show you that is printed on there. All right, everyone can see it. Written on there, yes. So, uh, could you just give that a rub? That doesn't come out, right? And you pick any card. That's so right. I just ran. First, first step, I'll give it a rub like that. 
could actually. Um, <laughs> but that's not the trick. So right? he, we don't uh, want that trick. Right, Jeez so. Louise. So he he removed the writing and just put it back. And you could have picked any card, but watch. We'll put your card. That's more or less half, right? Less, but yeah. More or less, yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll put it in the deck. We'll give it a nice little shuffle. So honestly, 100%, you saw the card go inside the deck. And I'm talking to you. This is inspired by what you just did, okay? Okay. So, I make that, uh, no? No. Mm. I'll go get my phone out of my phone. That your signature? Yeah, that, that's, your that's, that's the card, guys. That is the card. That tastes bad. Every <laughs> I wish I had a little tzatziki to wash that down. I tell you, yeah, you definitely want some tzatziki sauce, bro. All right, like I said, I don't, I don't understand this magic stuff. I can show you to make food disappear, but this is, this is ridiculous. All right, time for one last one. Let's do it. All right, so I like this. So that's through your signature, right? Yeah. Nothing on the back. Right. Watch if I take this right here. Look, nothing in the watch, right? Nothing. I didn't drop anything. And did I ever touch those cards since I ripped the card? No, right? Could you just slowly, for dramatic suspense, lift up the whole deck and look what's underneath all the cards? So there's one corner. Jeez, Louise. And look, that still has your signature on. Is that a perfect fit? That's great. There it is. All right, guys. That is uh, some things you can't explain in life, and that is definitely one of them. I don't. I have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was pretty cool. Do you uh, have any other tricks you want to show? Sure, why not? You want to see something scary, something mesmerizing? All of the above. All right, I'm going to show you guys something I can do with an ability. Don't try this at home, so watch. If I give this a little tap, you get the blood flow, and you can actually get the muscles to follow that blood flow. Right? <laughs> For everyone watching, this is real and live here. There's no prosthetics being used. And look, we'll lift it up. You can actually see where the bone is twisted. You can feel it if you want. Now watch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was uh You said that's something crazy. That was that was pretty that was that was that was impressive. Thank you, thank you. I give it that. Yeah, I uh There you go guys. Apparently the people said I do magic, but I think that's real magic. I just eat a lot of food, but I appreciate that man. Yeah. That's man. super cool. Thanks for showing me some magic. If you uh if you got another trick, let me know. We'll probably have one time for one more. Alright, we'll do one more. Excuse me. I want you to check out this box. Tell me if there's anything inside. If there's nothing inside and you're comfortable with it, close it up and put it on the table. Alright, yeah, there's nothing in the box. It looks like a box to me. Okay. So you're going to take one card out. Okay. It really doesn't matter. Okay. I have Ooh. one card. Sneaky. That's fine. Perfect. Show everybody. It doesn't matter if I see the card. I've seen this trick before. <laughs> Okay, and what do you want me to do? So the concept is, I'm going to try to get this card okay. to travel from here to inside the box. That'd be pretty cool, right? Watch. So I'll take the ten of hearts. Would you be impressed if inside was a ten of hearts? I would, because he didn't touch it. Yeah. That would have been so cool. No, I'm not that good, guys. I'm not that good. But wait, we will put all the cards inside, because it would be too easy to just make one card jump inside the box. Okay. We made a jump inside the mouth, it's the same concept. What I want to do is I'm going to give the box a rub just like this and slowly you'll start seeing that ten of hearts appear printed on the box. And I think that would be a little bit more memorable to make the ten of hearts jump straight on. He literally put it on the fucking box. Okay. Hot damn. I don't know, man. I can't. I, I there's some things I can't. I now there's a lot more in life I can't explain. But thank you for showing me that. Yeah, thanks for that. That was crazy, man. man. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the magic, guys. I can't explain. You think I'm cool? I, I think the job is pretty cool here, but 
Appreciate everything. Thank you guys. With that, everybody, you. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed the magic show, dinner and a show today, and uh, that's it, guys. So Charleston. It is a place of wonders. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.